morning, church. <laughs> it's a great day to worship the Lord, isn't it? Amen. Amen. We're going to get started in just a moment. As usual, we, uh, we sing a warm-up song, but uh, if you're out in the lobby and uh, having a coffee, having a conversation, uh, go ahead, finish that up, or bring the conversation into the sanctuary, find your seats, uh, and uh, get your hearts and minds ready to receive the Spirit of the Lord as we worship this morning. Uh, as you're sitting there for, through our warm-up song, take a look at the announcements. Uh, that tells you everything that's going on this week at the church and uh, in the community, so make sure you take a look at that. Let me point out one in particular. In a couple of weeks, we're going to have a wonderful Sunday here. We're, uh, we've invited the, um, the Thurstons, which is a, a really a nationally known, regionally traveling uh, gospel group. They're going to come in and uh, do our Sunday morning worship with us. I hope that you'll be here on uh, July 8th, and I hope that you'll bring your friends and tell all your neighbors that's going to be just a great and uh, uh, really rousing uh, worship service. I've heard them. I know uh, Mr. Thurston, and uh, that's going to be a great, uh, a great service. I hope you all be here. So uh, in, uh, enjoy. Uh, if you're a visitor, thank you for joining us, of course.
good morning, church, and uh, welcome to worship. This is our chance to raise our voices, to raise our praise to the Lord. And thanks to raise His glory, to thank Him for His favor, for His mercy, and for all of those things. We ask, Lord, that you hear our prayers this morning, that you inhabit our hearts, that you give us the joy that comes from knowing you, comes from knowing your Savior, that comes from knowing that we are forgiven and that we are saved. We ask that in Jesus' name, amen. Let's all stand and sing together with loud voices. sermon series uh, today is salvation and with uh, with some gospel music in our future here coming up in a couple of weeks I decided that we're going to sing about salvation and we're going to use some good old gospel songs to do that I know that you know victory in Jesus amen amen so let's sing with loud voices here
place where it's our opportunity to give back to God our tithes and our offerings. And as the ushers come forward this morning, let's bow our heads in prayer. salvation brought to us by your son, Jesus Christ. We ask that you receive our gifts, receive our offerings, and know that we give them with a joyful heart because you've told us that a joyful giver is what you're looking for and that we'll receive back what we give many times. We ask this all in your Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. I ask that you are join in this wonderful hymn of salvation. Another good gospel song. Are you washed in the blood? Thank you. 
that always helps. <laughs> We've had four requests come in this morning for prayer. I just want to read those. For my relationship with each of my children to continue to heal. And that comes in from Monica. Uh, for elected and appointed government officials to work together. Do I hear an amen there? Amen. And so that God's will for justice and peace will be accomplished. Yeah, and that comes from Louise Abersole. Uh, Mike Rooney had a second eye surgery this week. Pray for his speedy recovery. And that's come from the Niles. And then uh, asking for prayer, uh, prayers of healing for my father, Mike Nelson. And that has come from Josh and uh, Nelson. So uh, we have these requests that have come in today. Uh, we're going to pray for them. And I know that perhaps you did not fill one out but there's something on your heart. We're going to pray for that too. Let's unite our hearts in prayer. Father in heaven, these uh, requests have been made known and then are public. And I have them in my hand. They're written in ink. And Lord, I pray that they will be written on hearts. That will be reminders to pray and seek the face of God. And say, hear our prayer for family issues, for health issues, words of praise. And then, Lord, I ask that you would search for your eyes run to and fro through the whole earth. And you don't look as man looks on the outward appearance, you look on the heart. And right now, each one sitting here in a pew, whatever it is that's on their heart, you see it, O oh Lord. It's my prayer that you will see that request and answer it in a mighty way so that it is turned into praise unto our God. For truly you are a God who deserves our praise, our worship, our adoration. You are our creator, you are our redeemer, you are our savior. You save all who call upon your name. Lord, perhaps someone's here today who's never called. We ask that you would work that miracle of salvation Regeneration, giving life eternal to the one who calls. Bless us as we look into your word today. May your spirit be our teacher. Open our eyes to understand the things that are in the word of God. Change us from within, inside out, so that when we leave this place, we're not the same person we came here, but that we go forth to live for the glory of God. It's the name of our Savior that we pray this. In Jesus' name, amen. Father in heaven, someone here is saying, I need that change from the inside out. I am the fool. I've been bewitched. I've been enamored by the world and everything in it, and it has deceived me and tricked me. And I know that I am a sinner and I need Jesus as my Savior. So I call upon you, Lord, be my Savior. Save me. Change me from the inside out. Transform my life. Regenerate me. Make me a new person. Father, I know if anyone believes in the Lord Jesus Christ with all their heart, that, that you raised Jesus from the dead after paying the price for your sins, that they will be saved. They will experience and taste of the grace of God, and it will change them from the inside out. That's what you do. That's what your grace is all about. It's so amazing. Thank you, Lord, for your amazing grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. final thought today, but I'm going to ask you to sit down for a moment while we do that. My final thought in uh, the little prophetic book of the Old Testament that goes by the name of Jonah. It sums it up as succinctly as you possibly put it in chapter 2, last verse. Salvation is of the Lord. Boom. Salvation is of the Lord. 
by the grace of God through faith. We can keep adding on to that. Salvation is of the Lord. That's my final thought. We got a few things here for uh, uh, I have a blessing and then I got a few announcements. Father in heaven, I do pray that you'll dismiss us today with your blessing. If there's someone here who's never received Christ as Savior on the way out, they would just say, Pastor, I'd like to receive him. Or, Pastor, can I talk to you just for a moment? And I'll know that's code word. Let's talk about salvation. And Lord, we'll get away from all the distractions and hustle bustle of the day. Go through some scriptures and pray and, until there's an assurance of salvation in the heart of the one who's inquiring. Bless us on this Lord's Day that we would honor you, Lord, because we love you. Not because we got to. We love you, Lord. Faith is in our heart and it just is spilling out of us. We want the whole world to see it. We want it to shine that we love Jesus. Bless us in this way, I pray. Amen. Today, following the service, we are having a... <clears throat> a field trip for those who can make it. Uh, we're just going to go down the road uh, up, up Hiller to Cooley Lake and make a left and go down on the right hand side is the Open Door. It's a partner in ministry. They minister to the people in our community. They're going to give us a tour of the facility and show us what we're really involved in. And it'll take us just a little while, but we're encouraging everyone to go. It will change your attitude of how our offering of food and money is impacting our community. This is our mission to our, our community here. So if you can just take 15, 20 minutes, whatever it takes, go down the road after the service and join us at the open door. We'll begin at 11.30. Karen there is going to help us. Next Sunday, uh, we were, we we're planning to have a baptism, so you don't want to come late. I do the baptisms early so I can get changed and get out here and still do the service, okay? And so we have a baptism next Sunday. Then the following Sunday is a big Sunday here. Uh, on July the 8th, we're going to have the Thurston family with us, and it's a gospel singing group. Uh, I've already been paring down my message so that they can have a little more time to sing, but you're still going to get the gospel. Don't, don't worry there. And, uh, but <clears throat> it's gonna, after that, we're having our annual church picnic. This year it's a country church picnic. You do not want to miss that. You don't need to bring anything. We're covering everything. So invite somebody to come with you. We'll cover them too. But you can say it's on you, just invite them, okay? All right. Yeah, we, we want to do that. And the last thing I have is something very important today. I put in the bulletin a thank you. Did you see that? I got to thank you. If your name is on this list, anywhere on this list, I want you to come down front. Come down front. If your name is on the list, come on down front. And, and I need two people, Angel and Karen, to come. I want them to stand right next to me, all right? One on each side. If your name's on this list, you got to come down front. Come on, your name, David, your name's on this list. All right. Come on. Your name on this list? Come on down. Where's Jim? Jim Jim's here. Bob, you're here. These people think they're getting off the hook. If, if you worked on the project here, if you worked on uh, our project here of changing the lobby, I want you to help us because today is our dedication day of the lobby. And so in order to de dedicate the lobby, I want you to hold on to that. We are going to actually cut the ribbon. And you all had a part of this. Oh, yep, yep. All right, we're going to have to crowd in. Crowd in, crowd in, crowd in. Everybody gets hold on here. Yeah, we, we all get to crowd in. Oh, we got a lot of slack here. We got to give them some down on the other end. We're gonna pass some ribbon down, pass some ribbon down. Everybody here? All right, we're going <clears> to... <throat> we got... Jim, you were on it. Come on, Jim. Oh, a lot better looking. <laughs> yeah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You know, uh, I want to... These two gals right here have been our implementation team, color coordinator, all the things out there that you see. How many remember what it used to look like? How many like the new look? Give us a hand. Give them a hand. This, this is the team. Uh, in the bulletin are those who were on the Growing Young Task Force. We've done an evaluation of a lot of things, of our whole church ministry. And one of them that was our first impressions, and that turned out to be the lobby, and they suggested we do a, a total makeover. And then we got an implementation task force. They're in the, 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 the thank you list there. 
And uh, they are the ones that went out and pulled all the pieces together. And then we had all the hard workers. Uh, we only paid labor for one thing, the installation of the floor. Everything else that you see was a volunteer. Someone did the lobby. And so we've actually, believe it or not, we are going to probably, because we sell a few items to buy, we're going to come in under what was donated. So give yourselves a hand for all your donations. Is that awesome? I didn't say by much, but we're going to come under it, I think. <laughs> all right. And so what I want to do is pray, and then we're going to cut this ribbon and officially <laughs> dedicate that lobby area to the Lord. Father in heaven, uh, the lobby is such an important part of our facility here. It's the first impression of every guest who walks through our doors. It's where we congregate to fellowship uh, around a simple thing such as coffee and refreshments. Uh, Lord, it'll be a gathering place for prayer. We know it'll be a gathering place at certain times for watching videos and instruction and Bible teaching. And Lord, we're praying that you will dedicate this, this space to yourself as we offer it up to you. Lord, we've really remodeled, so Lord, it would be attractive to people who are guests in our facility, and Lord, that they would say this is a warm and welcome, a, a great place to come. And Lord, we also want to dedicate ourselves, because Lord, we know it's about personal relationships that bring people to Jesus. They see our faith and they ask the reason of hope that we have. And so fellowship going on in that lobby, we pray that you'll bless it to bring people to Jesus. The teaching to bring people to Jesus. Lord, all that goes on there, youth activity, bring them to Jesus. We dedicate that space to you afresh. God bless it, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you two, it's right here. Pull that tight. Oh, I thought I had dull scissors. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. You can return. Hey, this has been a wonderful Lord's Day. God bless you. Have a wonderful Lord's Day. Hope you can make it with us down to uh, the open door. God bless you now. You are dismissed.